Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about overcoming frustrations when it comes to achieving and pursuing long-term goals. Let's dive in. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Glad you are here. As mentioned in the introduction today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about overcoming the frustrations that you will encounter when achieving and pursuing a long-term goal. Let's define a long-term goal. Long-term goal is anything from three to five years, a big ambition, a vision that you may have. It may be completing college or going for you know a couple of promotions or starting a business or uh, you know, starting a family, relationships, whatever the case may be, something that's going to take an extended period of time, typically anywhere from three to five to 10 years. Now, the genesis of this video or why I'm making it is because it's been interesting recently in my journey, I've realized that <clears throat> it's a very common thing to become impatient, uh, especially in today's society, we are wired for instant gratification and literally an infinite amount of dopamine uh, available at our fingertips through TikTok and Instagram, just being able to scroll through whatever, YouTube shorts, right? And what this does, I think, and I'm sure there are scientific you know, studies that have been done for this that can back my theory, I'll say, but I'm almost positive this is just kind of how it works, is that when we're wired or we're stimulated by such instant gratification and such short-term results, uh, and satisfaction through social media or whatever, we lose our patience and our ability to follow through when it comes to bigger goals and longer visions. Now, why is this? Well, because obviously when you're feeling instantly gratified and for the first time in a while, since you're so used to that instant gratification, the success or the result of something that you want to achieve that something uh, with a bigger goal or vision or that takes time, well, you're obviously not going to have those incongruence. So you're getting instant satis satisfaction and you know gratification all the time. Now all of a sudden you have a long-term goal that you're going after. And since it's not happening as quick as you would like it to, well, of course, frustrations will arise. Well, what happens you know, to us psychologically? What's going on here and how can we kind of overcome this? I think it's all a matter of shifting your perspective. Now, you know, we've all heard, or if you haven't, it's a very common, uh, you know, old child story about the tortoise and the hare, right? And if you haven't heard the story very quickly, it goes, you know, there's a, a race that two animals are having, a tortoise and a hare, and the hare says, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win, and starts off the race very quickly and sprints way ahead, but eventually runs completely out of gas, and by using all his energy, through the beginning and the middle of the race, he burns out and the tortoise slowly pulls up, catches up, and since he's been going slow and steady the whole time, he ends up winning the race in the end because he's consistent over a long period of time and doesn't burn out. I'm sure uh, you've had experiences like this or maybe you have or have not, I certainly have. I had a tendency in the past to start really strong but never finish anything I started and it's quite the opposite now and I think that's why uh, I'm starting to see some results uh, in the you know budding fruits of my labor when it comes to YouTube channel uh, and my business, my Instagram page, all these different things. And so that's what I wanted to talk about today. It's really just to one, bring it to perspective that, it, or bring this to light, that it could be your perspective as to why you're experiencing frustrations when it comes to your goals. It's the same thing with fitness, right? Obviously I'm a, I'm a fitness coach first. And this is one thing that we always see. We, especially in the you know fitness nutrition industry, it's how can I get results quick? How can I lose 30 pounds in 30 days? And if, man, I'll first of all, I'll say, if you're trying to lose like 30 pounds in 30 days, I want you to understand that is so unhealthy and so bad for your body and you're not losing weight sustainably. That's how you'll have these big yo-yo, you know, weight swings where you'll, oh man, I lost, you know, 60 pounds in 60 days. Well, you're about to gain back 80 over the next like 90 days um, if you don't stick to it. Even if you do stick to whatever you're doing, it's just not a sustainable way to lose weight. And I think that's a great example and something that we can talk about and start with first is if fitness and getting in shape and losing weight is 
your goal. The goal should be to change your habits and build a sustainable lifestyle so that you can see results over an extended period of time, not just work out for a couple of months, look really good for the wedding or the trip, and then fall off completely. When you do it like that and you rebound up and down, you go back and forth, it makes your you know, it makes it incredibly hard for your system uh, to do that over and over and maintain a healthy body weight. It screws with your glucose, uh, your metabolism, um, and it's hard on your psychology too because then every time you want to get in shape, it's like, oh God, I got to put, you know, this like huge, uh, colossal, intense, you know, fire to the ground effort. And that's just really draining to do, especially if you have a family and a full-time career, life, other hobbies, friends, all these social events, things like that you're involved in, I'm sure you do. Um, it's really hard to summon that much energy in order to go for this little sprint. So the frustrations you may be feeling, it's really just to shift your perspective. And the perspective we need to shift from is one, trying to achieve the result very quickly, to two, achieving the result slowly over the amount of time. I saw, I believe it was like a TikTok or YouTube short the other day and it was Rick Ross. And they were interviewing him, he was doing some interview on a radio show, but again, it was just a short clip. But he said, he said, I don't care how much time things take to do, I'm not trying to do this fast, I'm trying to do it right. And if it takes me five years or 10 years, I don't care. As long as it's done right and we're moving forward, that's all that matters. And so two things I'll offer to you to give you value in this video is one, if you're feeling frustration, whether it's with a fitness goal or building your business or something else, and it's a long-term goal, it's a big goal that you have, it's a big vision, shift your perspective. Shift your perspective and again, switch from the hare to the tortoise and take the slow and steady approach over a long period of time rather than burning out really quickly. Same thing with fitness. So take it slow and steady, shift your perspective, realize that long-term goals take a lot longer uh, than you may imagine. And what often happens if you've ever pursued a uh, long-term goal or a big vision for something, what often happens is when you start to go about um, pursuing and creating this vision, achieving this goal, man, as the old saying goes, shit happens. <laughs> There's all these different things that are going to pop up that you did not initially anticipate in your business plan or whatever. And those are there for you to grow. The challenges pop up for you to learn and grow from. And what those challenges do is force you to evolve into the person that you need to be in order to attract the success and achieve that long-term goal that you have. So again, for me, I've realized um, a few other things. It's just a cool experience kind of doing this when you really jump in too, because now, you know, I started, this is uh, December, what's today? December 14th, 2022. I started uh, getting back into training April of this year, and it's been going nice and slow and steady and I decided to get back into YouTube, uh, and it's been mostly mindset, but it will be fitness too uh, when I get to a certain point here. Um, anyway, it's part of my strategy, and you don't need to worry about any of that stuff. But anyways, um, so I started my YouTube channel back up, um, and I deleted my old Instagram with like whatever, 10,000 followers. So I started this year in April with zero, uh, and I'm just coming up on 2,000 right now for the year. And it's been, it's been funny to, kind of reflect and look at my own growth. And that's why I want to make this video today is again to remind you that these things take time and you've got to be patient. When I told myself I was getting into training this time around and the YouTube channel and all these things, I had a very clear vision, um, especially for the YouTube channel and have, an, you know, goals for an ex for a longer period of time, right? Three to five years. And I've realized that, um, I just need to put in the day-to-day -day work and there's going to be days where you're going to be frustrated, you're going to question yourself, you're going to doubt yourself, you're going to wonder if the needle is moving forward um, and then that's a good time to just reflect, assess and then look at where you started and where you are now. If you really haven't made much progress over the course of a year from when you started, you know, like I don't know, you've been doing YouTube channel uh, stuff all year or whatever and you're, you started at zero and you're like fed five subscribers, okay, well then it might be like a strategy or a tactic. Um, or a content thing, or there may be an actual uh, something that you need to shift in order to create some more success. But if you haven't been consistent, well, you're probably not going to see results. So that's also what it's about here is yes, it's the tortoise versus the hare approach. 
You want to take the tortoise approach, slow and steady over a long period of time. And what that also represents, which is the other point that I'll impart to you here, is to be consistent. Man, it's boring as shit. And I heard you know a couple quotes come to mind uh, that kind of illustrate the point here that I want to make. The only difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people are willing to do the things that unsuccessful people are not. And so what are those things that unsuccessful people are not willing to do? And I can only speak to myself because I've been unsuccessful in a shit ton of things. The main thing that I've noticed and realized and that I've heard and I'm experiencing now uh, on one side in the past and then now I'm starting to experience it on the other side in a good way is that unsuccessful people are not willing to commit and follow through on a consistent day-to-day basis doing the boring ass shit you got to do every single day in order to achieve the result. They're not, you know, let's use fitness for example. They're not willing to go to the gym um, five, four, five days a week and get in their good hour work out consistently over the period of six months and really put in effort. They're not willing to track their food. They're not willing to, you know, really take control of their diet and make changes and focus on their sleep patterns and their lifestyle. They're not willing to do those things. And that's why a lot of people go for these quick fix yo-yo fad diets and workout plans and things like that and have these weird fluctuations up and down with their body. It screws with them. That's, that's one example. Successful people, um, people that are really in shape that you see on Instagram, I I know because I'm living that life and I ha- have the same results I'm training for body. It's boring as shit. You're eating a lot of the same food. You're tracking your calories. You're going, you're doing your workouts. It's a grind. It's a day-to-day process every single day. Fortunately for me, I love this particular grind when it comes to working out and tracking food and eating. And I feel absolutely fucking amazing and just looking good is kind of the cherry on top. But it's boring as shit. So people that don't succeed with their fitness plan, this is the example that I'll give you, are just simply not doing the basic, simple, simple shit they need to do. And I've heard the same thing with business. And as I grow my business, um, I'm experiencing the same thing too. Is they say that the greatest companies in the world, they don't do anything special. Like they know who their market is and they do one thing really, really well for that market. Like it's very narrowed down. It's very niche. It's very like... You know, there's a specific customer and we do one thing really well for that specific customer. That's how we achieve success. But what they also say is that the success is that you just replicate that process and you do the simple things and the small tasks, the minor things over and over and over and over again. You pay attention to the details. You didn't do anything crazy, you know, and have these big blow up moments. You just did the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Like uh, for some reason, what is it? Uh, like DuPont or like what, whatever the other big, I know it's DuPont chemical, but like one of the main paint companies, I can't think of it. And it's like, you think about it, I don't know why this example is coming to mind. I think this is the original example I heard. That's why is that um, all they did was sell paint every day. <laughs> like just open a store, people come in, they want to paint their house, they're selling paint every single day. And then they sell more paint. And then the next day they sell more paint. And the next day they sell more paint. And now they're really good at selling paint for houses and mixing paint for houses. So then they open up another store and they open up another store and then it becomes a franchise. They didn't do anything special. All they did was duplicate a very simple process about, you know, doing and, and selling paint. Very simple, very boring. There's nothing glamorous about it. And I've realized that's kind of what they're talking about when they say the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is that successful people are willing to do the things that unsuccessful people are not is that a lot of this shit is boring. So you have to take the tortoise versus the hare approach. The other thing I'll give to you uh, to impart some value is to remember, this is why they always say it's the journey, uh, you know, not the destination uh, that is the greatest reward. And you've really got to enjoy what you do. And some there's different schools of thought of that. People say you just got to whatever, man up even if you like to like it or don't like it who gives a shit you know you still got to do the work and i do agree with that you still got to do the work no matter what but i i think at least from my experience is that i am a person that i need to enjoy what i'm doing that's why i continue to make the videos and i train and i do these things because i actually literally enjoy it because if you hate what you do um man it sucks and it's draining because it is such a grind because it's so such a grind and so boring at times, it's important that you like it. 
um, because holy geez, man, I've done stuff that I don't like and I'm just grinding out and it's soul sucking, it's miserable, um, even if it's for a fat paycheck. And for me personally, it wasn't worth it. So shift your perspective, take the tortoise versus the hare approach, fall in love with the process and understand that success takes time and it's doing the boring ass shit over and over and over every single day. Now, how does this help you? Well, hopefully if you watch this video because you were frustrated with whatever long-term goal you're achieving, this is all to put it into perspective, to be patient with yourself, to relax. Also, what I realized is if I'm becoming frustrated or something's not working, it's because I'm putting too much pressure on myself and I probably need to chill out a little bit. I probably, you know, I need to relax and take a day off and literally just completely disconnect from whatever I'm doing for a day, even two days, and then come back to it. Um, you might be pushing too hard if you're feeling frustrated. It's because you're grinding, you're going, you're going, you're going. And yes, you do have to work hard, but again, uh, you really, in my opinion, you really do need to rest. And there's some schools of thought of that too. Um, you know, it's, you know, though I should never take a day off, especially when you're building a business and stuff, everybody operates differently. And I think that's another uh, nugget of wisdom and knowledge that I can impart to you is that you've got to find your own way. You've got to find what works for you as an individual. And that comes from reflection and knowing yourself and your habits and how your preferences and how you operate. Because everyone's going to do it a, a little bit of a different way. So this is part of the process of you growing is you'll find your own way, you'll find what works for you. So put it in perspective, take the slow approach, understand that this is doing the boring things over and over, find what you really like, and then be patient with yourself and don't put so much pressure on yourself. And that should help you avoid some of the frustration um, as far as growing and achieving some of these long-term goals. So I hope that was helpful for you to listen today. Um, you know, I often make these videos, really I think about, you know, like a hair in my eye. Um, before I make these videos, I always think about, you know, what is it that I need to hear? And, you know, yes, I make them selfishly for me, but it actually has nothing to do with me. I, I reflect on my own situation and think about what topics or what things I need to hear would be helpful for me. Because chances are, if I need to hear them, I know there are people out there just like you that need to hear the same message uh, and the same clarity uh, and the same coaching, if you will, in order to kind of move past these things. So be patient, shift your perspective, don't be so hard on yourself, and understand that this is about doing the tedious tasks over and over and over again uh, for an extended period of time. That's really what, if you start studying success and all these people, they literally all say the same thing. If you just keep going, you will eventually succeed, you'll get to where you want to be, this shit just takes time. So be patient, don't put pressure on yourself, take the long-term approach, it'll allow you to relax and enjoy the process, and at least for me, what I've noticed is I've taken that approach, it's become more pleasurable as well, and not as hard to do, it just becomes this kind of easy, like, habitual thing, this is what we do. So, uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave any comments, questions if you have any, I'd love to communicate, connect, uh, answer any questions you have, feel free to reach out to me, other than that, you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Peace.